A piano keyboard has... That's Austin. That's... B. Is it B44? No. So, Luke, you have 60 yes. seconds. I'll keep reading. Uh, it has 88 keys, black and white. You start from middle C, which is highlighted there in pink or red, then proceed as follows. After playing any key, you are allowed to play the key five or seven keys to the left or to the right. What is the maximum number of keys you can play? Is it 27? Uh, 44 is one of the choices, but you may not pick it. Uh, 61, 78, or 88? And like I said, you have 60 seconds. And so, Austin, you can think in case the loop doesn't, it buzzes in and isn't right. And are you allowed to, like, repeat a key? Or I guess, never mind, never mind with that question. Yeah, it's okay to repeat a key, yes. Yes, Luke. E is an Euler, 88. <laughs> e is an Euler? Yes, E is an Euler, is right, 88. That's, that is correct. Uh, all right. So, Luke, how'd you get that? Basically, like, you just, there are no obstructions to ever hitting anything. Like, you can just, like, go far enough to the left and far enough to the right, and eventually you can get anywhere. Like, the, you can use the sort of the so called. Basically, the chicken McNugget theorem tells you that like anything more than five times seven minus five minus seven twenty three, you can make as just like fives and sevens. So you can just like, if you want to hit something to the right, you can just go far enough to the left and then use the chicken McNugget theorem or vice versa. Right. Uh -huh. So that, that's right. Uh, and just like a lot of theorems, the chicken and nugget theorem was actually invented by the Whopper, uh, but it got <laughs> named by chicken and nugget. That's the way it goes. All right, so it's a very good explanation, Luke. Thank you for that. And you're absolutely right. It is 88. And, and E is an Euler. We like that. If you can come up with a mathematician for uh, each of the letters, that always makes it easier because the uh, four of them sound alike.